Hello students, so in the previous class we started with the definition of uh, strange and chaotic attractors and um, I gave you the definition and um, today we will continue um, with the uh, further um, uh, properties related to strange and chaotic attractors. Uh, so basically I would like to tell you at the beginning uh, some properties related to continuous and discrete system and uh, they are attractors right. So uh, if I continue um, the sim the the uh, uh, the properties that I was mentioning. So basically, uh, I saw. I, I mean, uh, we we learned that um, these attractors. Um, so be, uh, if you have a phase a subset of a phase space, and uh, if you get um, end up getting these um, uh, these um, uh, randomly chosen orbits, then basically the orbits actually repel each other. So you have two orbits uh, in the, in, the, in this uh, phase space X. So be, uh, over the time, as time evolves, uh, they diverge exponentially and uh, it actually tells you that they are repelling each other right so what is happening is this um, uh, this repulsive behavior so sorry um, so i will continue the continue the, the the properties of the attractor so this repulsive behavior repulsive uh, behavior behavior um, uh, provides provides uh, an argument an argument an argument um, on why continuous systems continuous time systems continuous time systems systems cannot have cannot have chaotic attractors cannot have uh, chaotic attractors right um, chaotic attractors um, uh, in uh, dimension 1 and 2 attractors in dimension 1 or 2 that means in 1 or 2 dimensions uh, geometry uh, we cannot have chaotic attractors and uh, the reason we am going to mention now uh, because because the uniqueness because um, of the uniqueness because of the uniqueness because of the uniqueness uh, solutions cannot cross each other cannot cross each other right so cannot cross each other and if x has dimension less or equal to dimension uh, less or equal to 2 the tendency basically the tendency of the orbits to diverge will cause them to push each other to push each other to the boundary of x to the boundary of x but if all orbits right that means if the dimension of x of the phase space is less or equal to 2 so the tendency of the orbit is to always diverge so it will actually push each other uh, to go up to the boundary of x but if all orbits are going to the boundary then there is a problem there if all orbits are crowding uh, crowding um, at the boundary at the boundary they cannot be diverging they cannot be diverging right they cannot be diverging and this is actually a contradiction and this leads to a contradiction contradiction if they are all pushing each other to the boundary so they, they cannot be diverging and uh, we 
I sort of uh, uh, just saw that that uh, if you are starting with these uh, two orbits uh, within that uh, I mean chaotic attractor then basically they are exponentially uh, diverging. So then you have uh, one part of the definition that is saying that the two orbits are exponentially diverging and another part of the uh, uh, of the de of the definition is saying that they cannot be diverging at the boundary because if they are diverging uh, towards the boundary then um, basically uh, this this leads to a contradiction right and uh, therefore uh, we have uh, um, uh, this um, uh, for dimension uh, lesser uh, one or two that means less or equal to two um, we cannot have chaotic uh, attractors uh, for for a continuous system so if uh, x uh, has dimension if x has dimension greater than 2 uh, these geometrical these geometrical geometrical uh, arguments no longer hold arguments no longer no longer hold right so many chaotic basically many chaotic chaotic uh, attractors attractors have complicated complicated structure due to due to the mutual repulsion of orbits repulsion of orbits for example for example they may consist of they may be consists of an infinite number of layers infinite numbers number of layers and in these layers in these layers the stretching takes place the stretching takes place uh, so basically orbits meeting at the boundary at the boundary of the attractor continue their way to the neighboring layer right to the neighboring layer all right and uh, discrete time system discrete time systems may have chaotic attractors of any dimension of any dimension for these systems for these systems the orbits consists of consists of points instead of continuous curves instead of continuous curves and geometrical argument argument of passing orbits does not apply right now let's look into some examples 
So example one. So the tent map basically the tent the triangular map which we introduced few classes ago. So the tent map has an attractor attractor for 0 less than mu less than 1 and uh, um, for mu greater than half this attractor this can be shown from the figure this attractor is chaotic because the Lyapunov the Lyapunov exponent right exponent is log of 2 mu this we have already seen uh, is positive is positive um, if mu is greater than uh, half and uh, for half um, less than uh, mu less than 1 it can be shown it can be shown that the attractor has a fractal dimension fractal dimension and uh, thus it is a strange attractor it is a strange attractor for uh, mu equals to 1 for mu equals to 1 the orbits visit the whole interval visit the whole interval zero comma one and uh, an attractor is no longer present if it visits the whole interval that means uh, then in that case uh, there is no uh, pushing of the orbits and therefore um, uh, an attractor is no longer present is no longer present in this case in this case the dynamics on 0 comma 1 is chaotic as the Lyapunov exponent exponent is positive right. So, for b equals to 1 we also get the chaotic uh, attractor right right now for mu equals to 1 uh, the orbits uh, the for mu equals to 1 the orbits uh, visit the orbits visit the whole interval and an attractor is no longer present and in this case uh, the dynamics uh, on 0 comma 1 is chaotic and because of the Lyapunov exponent is positive ok now uh, second example is the doubling map the doubling map the doubling map uh, has the interval doubling map uh, we have also defined uh, has uh, the doubling map has uh, uh, the interval 0 comma 1 both as domain both as domain and as range right so no attractor is present so here no attractor is present and uh, the dynamics on 0 comma 1 is chaotic for Lyapunov exponent is positive right 
and uh, similarly for uh, logistic map for uh, third example is the logistic map dx dt equals to um, r times 1 minus x by k that equation. So, for logistic map uh, the logistic map the logistic map uh, has a behavior has a similar behavior basically has a similar uh, uh, behavior to that of tent map to that of tent map. So, um, the map that means uh, the logistic map basically the map has an uh, attractor has an attractor uh, for 0 less than mu less than or equal 0 less than or equal to mu less than or equal to 4 for mu equals to 4 the orbits fill the interval fill the interval 0 comma 1 and uh, no attractor is present and no attractor is present. In that case uh, the dynamic is chaotic, in that case the dynamics is chaotic because the Lyapunov exponent is positive. Right. And uh, for mu less than mu infinity, I think mu infinity we have also defined 3.57 uh, approximately. Uh, the attractor is periodic. The attractor is periodic and uh, the corresponding and the corresponding Lyapunov exponent corresponding Lyapunov Lyapunov exponent exponent is negative at uh, and at the accumulation point and at the accumulation point that means mu infinity at the accumulation point mu infinity the attractor is not periodic the attractor is non periodic and non chaotic because the Lyapunov exponent is 0 because the Lyapunov exponent is 0 there and uh, is 0 there and for mu is equals to so for accumulation point uh, mu infinity the attractor is this uh, for mu is equals to mu infinity uh, the attractor is Um, so, at the accumulation point we have uh, accumulation point mu infinity we have the attractor is not periodic and non chaotic because the Lyapunov uh, exponent is 0 uh, there and uh, for mu equals to mu infinity uh, the attractor is strange right it is strange because its dimension is fractal. Right. So, for these three basic examples, to say uh, the strange attractors, uh, so I will continue the discussion. So, most of the attractors, uh, uh, we can also introduce uh, the concept of measure here. So, 
but I'll not get into the too much uh, too much into the detail because uh, then it's further discussion towards uh, um, uh, measure theory and all that. Um, but I will just talk about a little bit how we can introduce the concept of measure here. So most of the attractors, most of the attractors, attractors uh, can be provided can be provided with a measure in a natural way. In a natural way, such uh, a measure, such a measure uh, mu assigns to each subset A of X, a number a sub A of X, a number uh, a number mu A, which is belonging to zero comma one, and uh, if so, A1 and A2 are non overlapping, non overlapping subsets of X, subsets of X, then as we know from the measure theory, mu of A1 plus A2 is equals to mu A1 plus mu of A2 and uh, mu of x equals to 1 right. So, we can also introduce the concept of uh, measure for the uh, for these uh, for the attractors right. Um, uh, this uh, idea of how, how we are introducing the measure is that uh, this this is generated in a very natural way right. So, if we interpret um, if we interpret if we um, uh, interpret inter mu a as the probability as the probability um, that the system that the system is in a when observed at a randomly chosen time chosen time. So, let us assume now let us assume that the system has an orbit x has an orbit x on uh, capital X which visits which visits all regions of X. So, then we can introduce introduce mu as uh, mu a equals to limit t tends to infinity 1 by t of uh, total time that says that x t belongs to a. Right. Um, and uh, the attractors for which this is the case. So, the definition is only useful this definition this definition is only useful is only useful if such an orbit such an orbit exists and if there is no dependence there is no dependence um, on the 
specific orbit is used specific orbit used there is no dependence on the specific orbit used so attractors of these property attractors for which this is the case case are called ergodic right so this is the third definition that i wanted to introduce so we have strange attractors chaotic attractors then we have ergodics right um, and most chaotic system systems appear to be ergodic appear to be ergodic and uh, for ergodic attractors attractors nearly every point nearly every point is the starting point of an orbit visiting the whole attractor. And uh, ergodic attractor, ergodic attractor um, have attractors have Lyapunov exponents, Lyapunov exponents which are independent. of the position on the attractor and uh, thus really characterizes the dynamics of the system. the system on x globally right so we have defined uh, the definition of ergodic attractors actually this um, entire topic is really vast and uh, i'm just touching the definitions and uh, the properties associated with, associated with it um, and so basically there is a whole new branch or uh, uh, you can have an independent course on uh, um, chaotic and uh, I mean the chaos theory in general. So here we are just touching an important um, aspects of it, some important aspects of it, some definitions. In fact, there is an independent course on ergodic theory as well. So here I just uh, mentioned that uh, when do these attractors are called as ergodic or chaotic or strange right so um, in this context we have one last uh, definition or a property to address that is fractal dimension so um, i will start our next class uh, with the fractal dimension and uh, if there are some examples that i can find uh, then i will um, uh, show you when the attractors are called as ergodic and uh, then we'll continue with the discussion on fractal dimension so thank you for your attention and i'll see you in the next class